Hi, my name is Jack Daking. I'm our channel sales manager for our distribution led business in APAC. And I work with our partners to help customers to measure and understand their cyber exposure. So it's important to take a risk-based approach to vulnerability management as legacy VM tools are really no match for today's complex IT environments. They don't deliver on a unified real-time view of your attack surface and they end up flooding you with data instead of telling you which vulnerabilities pose the greatest risk to your organization. With legacy VM tools, you only assess the traditional IT infrastructure, so desktops, laptops, servers, and network devices. What this ends up doing is putting businesses' services at risk by ignoring large parts of the attack surface. With a modern VM tool, we're able to see the entire attack surface, including traditional assets, but also mobile, web apps, cloud, container, IoT, and now even across IT and OT. And then instead of classifying vulnerabilities only by CVSS, which is a relatively static scoring system and classifies too many vulnerabilities as high and critical, we're able to prioritize vulnerabilities using machine learning powered insights and prioritize remediation then based on business context, including vulnerability data, threat intelligence, and asset criticality. What this allows you to do is pinpoint the set of vulnerabilities posing the greatest risk to your organization so that they can be quickly addressed. So with a legacy VM tool, you're generally only taking a point in time snapshot of your environment. So assessing the assets and performing remediation monthly, quarterly, or maybe even less than this. With a modern risk-based approach, we're able to deliver dynamic and continuous visibility. So discovering and assessing new assets immediately and then analytics are updated daily to reflect the changes in risk based on the shifting threat landscape and the in-business importance of that asset. So overall, rather than only meeting minimum requirements to pass an audit, with a modern risk-based VM tool, you're able to use best practices to actually protect your business from cyber risk, accounting for all of the assets, including the many important business systems that don't have compliance requirements. Yeah, sure. So in its rawest form, a vulnerability assessment is the practice of identifying and mapping every asset within your environment and then understanding the vulnerabilities, misconfigurations or other health indicators that lay within those assets. The difference between an assessment and vulnerability management is that the vulnerability assessment is really just a point in time understanding of the assets and vulnerabilities when you run that scan. Vulnerability management is the practice of continually identifying, prioritizing and remediating those vulnerabilities to reduce your cyber exposure. Yeah, so the Nessus scanner was the world's first vulnerability scanner. It was created in 1998, so the technology has been refined over 23 years. This still remains at the core of all of our vulnerability management products. And the Nessa scanner itself has the lowest false positive rate with six sigma accuracy. What this actually translates to is only 0.32 defects in every 1 million scans that's run. And when you couple that with the fact that we've got the broadest coverage of CVEs, you can have confidence that when you're running scans, you're not only doing it accurately, but across the full spectrum of disclosed CVEs. So some of the key differentiators for us are being able to give visibility across your entire attack surface. So from cloud environments, infrastructure, containers, and even remote workers. And with our VPR technology, we're able to predict what matters most to you now and allow your security teams to prioritize their time on protecting the business and reducing the probability of a cyber event. As a company, we're not trying to expand into every avenue of cybersecurity. We're laser focused on vulnerability management and delivering on that to give you the best solution.
We also make considerable investments into research and development to keep the products current. And we have our Tenable research team that works closely with the security community to discover new vulnerabilities and release the plugin for those within 24 hours of disclosure. What we can see here is that from a principal technologies report in September 2019, Tenable has the number one coverage of CVEs with 20% more CVEs than our nearest competitor and equally more CIS benchmarks. And you don't just have to take our word for it. What you can see here is some of the recognitions that we've got from the industry and from our customers. So Forrester ranked Tenable in the top right of their quadrant for both strategy and current offering. IDC disclosed that Tenable has the greatest share of the VM market. And then in the top right here, you can see that the Nessus scanner has the widest adoption of any vulnerability scanner in the market, with about 30,000 users and a total of 2 million downloads. And that's across 50% of the Fortune 500 and 30% of the Global 2000. And in terms of our customers, Tenable has the most five out of five star ratings of all of the 2020 customer choice vendors for vulnerability assessment on Gartner's Peer Insights.